Welcome to our lesson on allowing and blocking ads. Because your site and your users are unique, AdSense provides controls that let you block certain ads and advertisers from appearing on your site. In this lesson, we will cover how to implement these different blocking options and how these changes may impact your revenue. Let's say your site is dedicated to reviews of children's books. Knowing that you are catering to parents, educators, and children, you want to make sure that only age-appropriate ads appear on your site. You also want to ensure that the ads for competing book review sites don't appear. Like this example, there are several reasons you may need blocking. You or your users are sensitive to the content of a particular ad and would prefer it to not show up on your site. For example, politics, sexuality, or religion. You want to block ads from a particular advertiser because you're working with them directly. Or you want to block ads from one of your competitors. We want to provide the controls that you need to be comfortable with your ads but you should be careful not to use them excessively. Allowing all ads creates the most competition in the auction for your units, which produces the most revenue for your ads. Keep in mind that the ads you see on your screen are not necessarily the same ones that your users will see as ads served up on a user-by-user -user basis. There are many different ways that you can use AdSense blocking tools to meet your needs. These options have a range of implications for your ad serving and revenue. The first blocking method is by general categories. Here, you can block ads from categories such as apparel, internet, real estate, and vehicles. You can also click into each broad category and block a more specific subcategory. If you can avoid blocking a whole category and instead only block a few subcategories, it will have a less negative impact on your revenue. Similarly, you can also block ads by sensitive categories. Here you can block ads from categories related to sensitive topics such as religion, politics, and references to sex and sexuality. Again, we recommend blocking as few of these as possible while still considering the needs of your site and your users. For both general and sensitive categories, you can see what percentage of your ad impressions and your earnings from the last 30 days each category or subcategory represents. These percentages can help you predict the impressions and revenue impacts that blocking a particular category may have. The percentage that each category represents may add up to more or less than 100% because ads may be classified in multiple categories or not classified in any category at all. Your next blocking option is by advertiser URL. This is where you can go to enter specific competitor URLs whose ads you do not want to appear on your site. Make sure to enter the top level domain without the www to ensure that all advertiser subdomains are also blocked. In specific cases, you may want to block ads by ad network. Ads from Google certified ad networks are allowed to appear on your pages by default. On this page, you can allow and block specific third party ad networks. Lastly, you can block individual creatives in the AdSense Ad Review Center. Here, you can see all of the ads shown on your site and block text or display ads by individual ad. You can search for ads by keyword, ad type, time period, ad network, or you can upload an image and search for similar creatives. Learn more about the settings available in the Ad Review Center in the Additional Resources section. Check out the Ad Serving tab to view additional blocking settings such as interest-based ads and expandable ads. There's one more important blocking tool available that exists outside of the AdSense interface. In addition to blocking ads in your AdSense account, you can install the Google Publisher Toolbar to block ads while viewing your pages in a Chrome browser. The Publisher Toolbar is a Chrome extension that lets you view up-to-date information about your AdSense account, offers an overview of your earnings and performance, and provides ad overlays with in-page reporting. All of these settings and tools are available to you so that you can make sure your ads are appropriate for your content and your users. Please use them wisely.